I was not expecting this. Wow. What's up guys? I'm actually needing to wash my hair. We've got some crustaceans going on here. But instead of washing it with the usual suspects, I wanted to try to see if I could find any products at the dollar store. Natural hair products are super expensive. Not everyone can afford them. Everyone has a dollar store, right? So I actually wanted to see not only for myself if these products work, just because I'm curious, but you know, it might be a nice solution for college kids or you know, people who are just looking to not spend as much money. If it works, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous. You know, it took me a long time to get my hair to healthy. I don't want anything messing up my hair. And if these products are a dollar each, I don't know, I'm just kind of imagining like the craziness that's gonna be inside these bottles. But I don't know, maybe I'm just freaking out for nothing. Maybe they've got great products there and we just don't know about it. <sighs> nervous. All right, let's go. All right, so I found the shampoo and conditioner aisle, and they have pretty good selection. See. Right away, I'm attracted to this section here. I think it's probably the color palette, <laughs> the daily defense line. They also have a line under here that's called Pro Formula. These VO5 aren't really looking very attractive to me, but I'll look in that too. But let's start with the daily defense. Methyl Sothiazoline. I don't have no idea what the heck that is. Look, it's called monkey gunk hair gel. What do you think that's supposed to be? It's the exact same container. Look at this. That's crazy. So it's comparable to the performance of Gorilla Snot Gel. Wow. Sodium lauryl sulfate. <laughs> we'll have to do some sulfates today. Let's just give it a try and see how it works. It's not easy finding something that has safe ingredients here. So we're definitely gonna have to compromise on some things. the dollar store we've got all of the items and I have to say I am thoroughly exhausted reading ingredients is not my idea of a good time I had to read every single bottle in that place I spent a total of five dollars and 31 cents I came back with five products and a cookie which I ate in the car from Panera that's not part of the budget though I was just really hungry we went with the vo5 dry scalp line simply because i could read most of the ingredients it had like the vitamin b5 it had biotin vitamin e had sweet almond oil it has other ingredients in it that uh i'm probably not going to like too i think the fact that these are all from the dollar store is kind of like psyching me out like oh my god i'm scared it's gonna make my hair fall out but i have totally used products from like other grocery stores and other places that weren't all natural ingredients so i think it's just because it's from the dollar store and it costs a dollar that's freaking me out so i'm gonna try not to be bougie and just give these products a fair chance and not psych myself out because it's not that serious the only thing about this product is that it does have pure coconut oil in it which you guys know I've been trying to avoid but I still pick this item to use I know a lot of you guys use coconut oil in the ingredients list looks okay so I figured this is probably the line that you guys would you know go for especially like college kids so I figured, you know, this is the line that I should probably use. So we have our shampoo and conditioner. Then for our deep conditioner, we're gonna do the salon selectives. There's nothing about this conditioner that was special. The ingredients list is not amazing. The other one had coconut oil in it. With these shampoos and conditioners, just kind of putting it on and like rinsing it off. I didn't want coconut oil to like sit in my hair. They really only had two deep conditioner options. So I chose the one without the coconut oil. And then I have a detangler. I saw a kid's detangler, which was really the closest thing I could find to a leave-in. It has betramonium methyl sulfate, which I know is going to leave my hair super soft. It says that you don't have to rinse it off. So I liked that. I didn't feel safe using like another conditioner as a leave-in. Just because, I don't know, products are freaking me out. Sorry, dollar store freaking me out. I'm admitting it, I'm extra. And then the last thing I wanted to try was the monkey gunk. So I'm thinking I'll probably use that for my edges. Oh my God, look. Oh, oh, it has this terrible, strong grape scent. Oh, it smells. 
Oh, it smells kind of yummy, actually. It smells like a jolly. When you put your nose in it, it smells kind of good, actually. Oh, no, don't do it, don't do it, don't. We're gonna give all of these dollar store treats a try, and I will meet you in the shower. So it's super moisturizing as I was putting it on, but as I rinse it out, it's definitely squeaky clean, dry. I mean, I feel clean, which is good. But let's just hope that this conditioner will put some of that moisture back in. So far, so good. This reminds me of my childhood. Something is wrong with the way, and I don't know why. Why, why, why? Why you need to lie, lie, lie? Something is wrong with the way. How it just glides through. I am impressed. I do have to use a lot of it though. Okay, come on. Shove your hair just coming out. Look at that. Coming out. I'm coming out. I want the world to yeah. get to let it show. This way this conditioner works, I gotta live it up. Hey, I'm gonna. <laughs> I've got a dollar conditioner and it works real good. <laughs> This washed conditioner detangles my hair using my fingers and I'm going to deep condition it using the Salon Selectives Argan Oil Hair Treatment. Okay, that doesn't smell good at all. It smells like it it smells like it has a tinge of creamy crack. God please do not relax my hair. Oh, the slip is off the chain. And I don't know why. And you guys can see that the coils are defined. So I'd say I did a pretty good job. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just take my detangler, spray that all over the section. It smells good! Oh yeah! And then all I'm gonna do is just twist the hair up. And that will have to do for my. Oh, I don't like it! I don't like how it ends too. Our wrap into bantu nuts. I just got out of the shower. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It feels pretty good. I'm just gonna wrap the twists around my head like I normally do, and then we're gonna let them air dry overnight. I'm also gonna spray the ends of my twists just to make sure that they're nice and moisturized. I like to have my head scarf on when my hair is wet because if my hair is frizzy, just putting the satin scarf on it kind of just flattens everything and makes it nice and smooth. So I'll probably change my head scarf before I go to sleep, but putting this on for now, I'm gonna let it air dry overnight and then we will come back in the morning. So my hair has actually been setting for two days. I went to go take it out yesterday and it was still wet, which is a good sign. The moisture was still there. So we're gonna take it out today and we're gonna see what we have. What's good dollar store? <laughs> was good. See if you stacked up. My hair feels pretty good. Smells really good. What? It's so soft. It's so soft. I am. I'm shocked. I am. I am quite shocked. Look at this hair, you guys. Oh my god. Look, okay, so it is a little frizzy. I still think it's a little damp. It's not completely dry, so maybe that's where the frizz is coming from, but it feels pretty darn good. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Is this hair? What is this hair? For a dollar. For a dollar. What is this? This is incredible. This is incredible. I am deceased. Call Felipe, call my mom, let them know. I officially kicked the bucket due to the dollar store. I, I cannot. Oh, 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 <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, seriously, it's definitely sh more shrunken than usual, but I think that's just because it probably could have used another day to dry. Wow, I am shocked. Oh my goodness, what in the world, bro? Is this for real? Like, are you for real right now? Oh my goodness. 
I'm actually, <laughs> I was not expecting this. You guys, the dollar store, the dollar store did this. Wow, wow. Okay, this is incredible. My scalp is a little itchy, but it's fine. But my hair is so voluminous. It looks so, I mean, you guys, I don't really have to describe. You can see it for yourself. Does this not look better than some high-end products that are out there? Like high-end natural hair products? This is the best example of do not judge a book by its cover, right? Because I am completely eating my words. I thought that this was going to end up terrible. And it's the exact opposite. Girl, do I need to shop at the dollar store more often? Like, wow. If you don't care about natural ingredients, the dollar store... The dollar store is kind of lit. <laughs> I'm just saying. The dollar store is kind of lit. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the products. Shampoo felt really good going on. The issue came when I rinsed it out. You definitely got that like squeaky clean. If you touch me again, I'm about to knot up and break right off your scalp feeling. But besides that, I mean a dollar. I think I used about a quarter of the container. Conditioner. This was pretty good too. And it was a detangling condi- Oh my god. While it was on, it moisturized. It detangled super well. When I rinsed it off, my hair was definitely softer than when I had the shampoo on. Is it the best conditioner that I've ever used? Obviously no. This is not the best shampoo I've ever used either. But for a dollar, it's pretty darn good. Next, let's talk about this deep conditioner. I think I actually did this deep conditioner some favors because the directions tell me to leave this on for three minutes. Nah, 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 nah. Three minutes is not going to do anything for my hair, so I left it on for an hour like I do all my conditioners. I put a plastic cap on. When I rinsed it off, my hair definitely felt softer than when I had the conditioner on, so it's definitely doing its job. One thing I will say is as I sat there for an hour, my eyes started to tear up. Like, I could feel tingling, and like, my eyes, it was almost like chemicals were getting into my eyes. I don't enjoy the smell of this. It's kind of scary. It reminds me of a relaxer. It did not relax my hair, but I just don't like that chemical smell. The only reason I chose this again was because it did not have coconut oil in it, and I just didn't want coconut oil sitting in my hair for that long. In fact, my scalp actually does feel a little itchy right now just from having these products that have coconut in it. I'm assuming it could be the coconut oil, it could be the other chemicals, I don't know. My scalp definitely feels itchy, so I will be doing an apple cider vinegar rinse just to make sure all of this is off of my scalp um, when I rinse it out. But again, if you don't have any sensitivity to coconut oil, it won't be a problem for you. I will say it worked. I didn't use a lot of it. There's like more than half the container left, so a dollar. It works, doesn't smell great. I think that this is probably the hero product of all of this. Obviously the leave-in is what's leaving my hair super duper soft and voluminous. I wish that I had a styling product to use, but this actually worked really well. Using a ton of this was really nice and probably helped me get my nice ends here so they weren't super dry like if you remember i sprayed my ends they look really good i used almost the entire bottle but uh it was again a dollar for seven ounces if you're a college kid if you are stranded in some strange city or town and all you have is a dollar store these items will work for you i was actually going to try this on my edges i'm not going to do that maybe i'll do that in another video and just compare it straight with the gorilla glue if you want me to do that let me know final thoughts I think you know this is an awesome experiment the dollar store is lit my hair is nice and soft i think that by the end of the day i'm probably gonna lose some of this moisture obviously not a fan of the ingredients but for a dollar these are a steal i hope you guys enjoyed this video i sacrificed my scalp for y'all i used coconut oil for y'all i'm about to put some apple cider vinegar on this in a couple days i'm gonna see how long this can last we'll see I'm shocked. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, okay, sorry. I do have one more thing I wanna share. I decided to go outside and take the photo in the snow. My hair is still looking amazing. Look at this. There's so much volume, the curl is still there. And it's pretty dry by now. I did wanna mention that my head is 
on fire it just so much so there's that i think it might just be the coconut oil but i'm not sure and the other thing too is that this entire look cost four dollars because we didn't use this so subtract a dollar and the total is four dollars so pretty amazing all right